Hi folks, it's Flower Child 1970 and as promised I am going to show you how to make homemade gummy bears. The easy way. This is the easy way. There's so many ways on the internet. I just, this is, what, three ingredients? Four ingredients actually if you include the water. Okay, so you are going to need Knox gelatin. I'm going to bring you up just so it's not crooked. You will need Knox gelatin, okay? Or brand name gelatin. Don't go, I've tried to go the cheap route and just buy um, no name gelatin. I'm telling you folks, I don't know what these name brands stop having them, but there's an extra ingredient or something that allows this to work. So, you will need Knox gelatin, only two packets, okay? So I have my two packets of Knox gelatin. You will also need half a cup of canna oil, which is cannabis oil or coconut oil infused with cannabis. So this is canna coconut oil. A measuring cup because you need half a cup of hot water and whatever brand of jello you want to use today I am using grape okay so it's gonna get a little shaky I'm sorry so do not turn on your stove yet what you do first is put your dry ingredients in first so you're gonna add your jello I'm opening it up. Oh, thought I broke a nail. <laughs> okay, so just put your Jello in whatever flavor and use name brand Jello. Do not use no name Jello. Um, it's I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it does make a difference, folks. Okay, you can try it, doing it a cheaper way, but I'm telling you, it's not going to work. They won't set right. They'll they'll separate. The can oil will separate from the Jello, and you'll get a two-tone candy um, gummy bear, and it looks terrible and it tastes terrible. So we put our gelatin in. Again, you're doing the dry ingredients first. That grape Jello smells good. Okay, put my garbage aside, and then you're going to want to mix this really well so that you don't see the white crystals anywhere on top. You can even do it this way. Just shake it about. It works either way of stirring it or just shifting it in the pot pan. And I'm using a nonstick pot. It's very important that you use a nonstick pot as well. So I am going to add my half a cup of hot water. I did boil it already. And uh, now it's okay to turn on the stove because you're putting in your water. I have mine at medium or, whoops, terribly sorry about that. Just mix it around. You're going to want to make sure that the there's no clumps in here and all the grit is gone. You don't want to feel grit at the bottom of the pan. You want to make sure it's smooth, much like how you would make it when you make your jello. So we're just going to stir this around for a little bit, for a few minutes, just to make sure everything's separated and something fell on my burner, sorry. So what you will also need while that is, uh, it'll boil a little bit, it's just on four, but what you will also need Our molds. 
okay and what I have here and you'll see it over on the other side once this mixture is ready and you will need one of these little plunger things but if you um, where did I buy these I think I bought these at uh, bulk barn I think I bought them at bulk barn and when you buy them you get three of these trays which have 50 divots each they're little gummy bears uh, 50 divots each so you get 150 total in three trays and you get two or three of these little plungers to suck up the stuff and uh, the mixture and put it in here so you're not burning yourself or using a spoon or anything like that okay and because there's always overflow it makes more than 150 I have my other trusty um, mold here with the emoji faces on them so yeah I mean it's pretty basic it only takes a few minutes what takes the longest in my opinion is having them solidify in the fridge so I think this is pretty well mixed yeah it's mixed so just because I'm going to rush it but don't rush it because the mixture might not work out as well um, it's actually starting to bubble. So I chose grape because um, I find that uh, you taste the can of oil. I know it doesn't bother some people, but I like to taste the sweetness and the sugar and stuff. So I guess you could put less than half a cup in there. You could put a quarter cup in here, uh, depending on your tolerance. But my tolerance is quite high. I eat a fair bit of edibles, and I do consume it um, by smoking it. So throughout the day, and uh, so I use a half a cup of the can of oil. So it's pretty good right now. I think I'm just going to add the can of oil. Okay, so we're going to add it slowly. Just make sure that it gets mixed in. There's a lot of stirring involved in this. It's just, I mean, I've watched different people do it online, and I know some people just leave it be, but I don't. I prefer to keep stirring it because I find the more you're stirring it, the more it's going to stay mixed together. Um, I find it separates a lot sometimes. So just be careful of that. Be cautious and uh, be aware because if they don't mix well when they're solidifying they separate and it gives you a two-tone candy uh, I don't like that I find the butter it, it just or the can of oil separates from the gelatin and I don't know why that is so I prefer to do it mixing it a lot stir 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 Okay, I'm going to add the rest of it. Yeah, it's just... You can see the gelatin on... Oh, no. Glad I noticed that. It's a little hair there. So you want to mix this once all the butter, or the can of oil, sorry, I keep saying butter. I used to make it with butter instead of the coconut oil, but it's just, it's not butter, it's coconut oil. So 
I'm sorry if I keep saying butter. I don't mean butter. I mean it's kind of oil. Cannabis coconut oil. So now it's starting to heat better and it's going to boil up as you can see which is good you do want that but stir as it does that so you're going to want to stir it for about five minutes you might have to turn your stove down like I'm going to do because I find that's bubbling too much I'm actually going to lift it up off the stove and move you up. I'm sorry, my phone's getting a little hot. I'm gonna move you over here. Okay. You can still see. Yeah, my phone was getting a little hot sitting above the pot there. It's just silly to do that. So yeah, about five minutes, four to five minutes, you're going to want to uh, keep stirring it as it's uh, sitting on the stove on medium, four or five degrees, depending on how your stove, how hot your stove gets. But it's pretty well mixed, even the stuff on the side is mixed into the pot. I'm going to lift it up just so I can see how well it's mixed. That it's all mixing to well together. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I can't believe I've never showed you guys how to make gummies before, but this is homemade gummies. They're not going to taste exactly like, uh, and the texture's not going to be exactly like this way, the way I'm showing you. I mean, they still taste gummy, obviously, because of the gelatin. And this is the an easy, cheap way to make yourself some gummies. You can use whatever molds you like, but I prefer to use the uh, little gummy bear molds and the emoji molds. Okay, I'm going to shut the heat, or actually no, I'm going to keep the heat on low because uh, the mixture kind of cools itself down when, when you're dispersing it into the mold, so having it uh, a heat source is a good thing because it helps keep it hot or warm depending on what temperature you're going to keep it set at when you're um, putting it into the molds it's uh, important not to have it too high or you're just going to burn the mixture and it's not going to work at all so I've got it on low because I'm going to get ready to uh, put it into the molds and I move the pot back and forth, but since I'm filming it, I'm going to put you in another spot. Yes. So that looks really good. It's mixed really well. I don't see a lot of the remnants of the, the can oil around the rim, which is nice. That means I've been stirring enough and there it's gone off the spoon or the mixing spatula. Okay. One second, folks. I'm going to move you over here. You're going to see my broken picture on the floor. Can't believe that happened. It fell right off the wall. And boom, down to the ground it went and it smashed. 
Okay. It's kind of crooked. You guys are going to be having crooked necks trying to watch this. Oops. Wow, I'm sorry for all the movement. I'm just trying to get it so that I can film it. We're going to set it like that then. Okay. There we go. We have our little little miniature turkey beasters. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whoops. So just take some up. Obviously, you guys know how these little things work. Where are we? We'll start on this end. Okay, and sometimes I notice because it's so hot, it'll squirt back out. I yeah, it's kind of hard to see that, but just be careful. This stuff is really hot. So you just put it in, squeeze it into your molds, kind of at uh, medium to fast pace because this, whoops, this stuff cools fairly uh, quickly, I notice, when I'm doing them. But you will get, if you're using the small gummy bear molds, uh, about 150 plus gummies. Yeah. So you can, once they are solidified, I've noticed some people on the internet use um, sugar powder. I can't remember. Confection powder sugar uh, to sprinkle on them because they are a little oily from the can of oil that's mixed with them but I don't do that I just keep them in the fridge and then if I want some because obviously the texture when they're in the fridge constantly is a little harder than if you left them at room temperature um, once they are all solidified and ready to be ate So you just continue, ba 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 ba, and get them all in there. Squeezing as you go. So yeah, I just I couldn't believe I was looking through my videos, going, yeah, indeed, I've never shown anyone how to make the gummy bears, so. This is how you do it. This is my way of doing it. This is, and I find the texture fine. You just got to make sure that you're also doing this, stirring it around because it does separate. And putting it back on the stove is a nice idea to keep the temperature hot. Whoops, making a bit of a mess. But, I mean, I'm sure instead of using cannabis oil to make these like some type of uh, edible or treat for the kids, leave out the can of oil, obviously. Oops. Come down. There we go. It was a little raised up there. We got to have them even so they harden properly. And they're all ready to go at the same time, you know what I mean? So I find this fun to do this. I mean, I love to bake. Especially when they're edibles. We're almost done here, folks. I'm actually going to put this back on the stove for a second. Be right back.
just noticed it was starting to separate. You don't want that to happen. I cheated and had the stove on hot, so it might take a little longer for you guys if you have it on medium or low. So obviously we're going to get more than 150. There's 25 in each of those gummy bear sheets, so we're just going to fill these up. Obviously, um, the emoji, the pink uh, sheet that I'm doing right now, is going to take longer to harden because they're deeper, bigger. So I won't be showing you those, but I'm hoping that these little ones, if I put them in the freezer, will solidify really well, and I'll be able to show you them in the video. No guarantees because my phone's been really wacky lately and when I pause it it uh, shuts off my phone sometimes so we're getting to the very last of it and it will the last few gummies will be very medicine-y because of the butter that stays behind that's really what I'm soaking up here. I can just see the difference. So I'm just going to pour it in there. Okay. Okay, so I am going to cheat and put them in the freezer. Alrighty. And hopefully, hey, that looks. Can you. See that? That looks like the Mickey Mouse symbol. You see that little dollop right there? Two ears. Whoops. Alrighty. So, that's what we do. So far, so good. Okay. Got a bit of the counter in there. That one was never used. So, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Hopefully when I pause it, it won't uh, mess up. But if it does, I'm sorry. And I'll show them to you in another short video. So we're going to pause it and put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes, okay? See you soon, folks, and if not, love and huggies, and I'll show you these finished product in another video if that's what happens, okay? So that's how you make gummy bears, folks. It's pretty simple, it's pretty basic, and it's really easy um, and quick. It's quick. There's nothing to it. The longest it takes, in my opinion, is to solidify them in the fridge, which is usually about 15-20 minutes, but we're going to cheat and use the freezer. Okay, love and huggies. Hopefully see you soon. Bye. Alrighty, so it only took five minutes, but here are some. This is what they look like. Whoops. This is what they look like. Gonna eat one. So yeah. So there you go, folks. Oh my gosh, where's the camera? Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, they look like real gummies. They just taste a little different. You know what I mean? So there it is. I'm actually going to have a couple more. And put them back in the fridge, but there they are. Gummies, ready to be eaten, folks. 
Love and Huggies. Stay true, stay unique, and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks, and I hope you give it a try. And if you do, please let me know how it turned out. Okay? Bye.